J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 College of Technology Mathematics questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Here we are given again two curves, C sub 1 and C sub 2, and we are asked to find the common tangent line L. Our strategy is to first find the tangent line of C sub 1, and then we find the tangent line of C sub 2. Then we make sure that both lines are the same, and so we equate their slopes and their y intercepts. First, let us find the tangent line to C sub 1. In general, The equation of a line is given by y equals mx plus b. Here, the subscript 1 is used to indicate that this line is tangent to the curve c sub 1. The curve c sub 1 is given by y equals x squared plus 2x. Therefore, to find the point of tangency, we make sure that the y's are equal and the x's are equal of both the tangent line. And the curve. And so here we equate the y's. For the first equation here, this is the value of y, and so we put that here. For the second equation, this is the value of y, and so we put that here. We rearrange this equation to give us this standard quadratic form. Then we recall that because this is a tangent line to C sub 1, then There must only be one point of tangency. That means that there could only be one value of x for this equation here. And so we will use that fact later. We follow the same steps to obtain the tangent line to C sub 2. Here we have the general equation of a line where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. The subscript 2 is used to indicate that this line is tangent to C sub 2. C sub 2 is given by this equation. Again, because this is a tangent line, then this tangent line and C sub 2 would have a, a single point of intersection. And that means that the y's must be equal at that point of intersection. And so we equate them. Here, y equals this. Here, y equals this, and so we get this equation. We rearrange the terms so that we get this equation here. Again, we note that because this is a tangent line, then this quadratic equation must have only one solution. Next, we impose the condition that both tangent lines must be the same. That means that the slopes must be the same. Let us call that slope m. m must be equal to m sub 1 and m sub 2. In the same way, the y intercepts must be the same. Let us call that y intercept b, and it must be equal to b sub 1 and b sub 2. Here we rewrite the equations we obtained from the previous slides. This bit is from the equation. From C sub 1, and here is the equation from C sub 2. Now we have to impose that both of these must be perfect square trinomials. In other words, this equation must have only one solution, and this equation must have only one solution. This is now the discriminant of the first equation in the previous slides. The discriminant is the square of the coefficient of the x term minus 4 times the coefficient of the x squared term times the constant term. We equate this discriminant to 0 because that is the only way that we get a perfect square trinomial or 
an equation where there is only one solution. Likewise, we do the same thing for the second equation in the previous slide. And now we have these two equations. And now we can solve for m and b. The first equation becomes like this, and the second equation becomes like this. Now, we can combine these two equations by eliminating b. And because we have 4b here and 4b here, it is easy to subtract the first equation from the second equation. And this is what we obtain. This becomes this, and this is subtracted. And the 4b's cancel, and this bit times this bit is here. Now we need to solve this equation for m. Expanding the terms in the previous slide, we obtain this equation. Again, we can cancel the m's, and now we have a linear equation which can easily be solved for m. We see that m equals 1. We choose one of the previous equations that contain b and m, and we substitute this value of m for m. And we will notice that b would have to equal this value here. And therefore, the tangent line must be of the form y equals x minus 1 fourth. Here, the slope is 1 because m is 1. And minus 1 fourth is the constant term because the y-intercept is minus 1 fourth. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya! Please hit subscribe.